Because of its strategic position on this strait, ships of many flags always fill the harbor of Singapore. Coming from Europe and America, ships refuel here and bring products from their native countries to this thriving commercial city. A broad canal carries small boats into the heart of the city where they are loaded and unloaded. The tall, modern buildings towering above the river reflect the prosperity which international commerce has brought to the island. Along the modern boulevards on the waterfront, large office buildings house the banks and financial firms that make Singapore the financial hub of Southeast Asia. Here, many English, American, Dutch, and German people deal not only in banking, but in rubber, tin, and shipping. Long association with England and other nations gives Singapore a modern cosmopolitan look. English and Chinese are the main languages spoken, and the signs are in both languages. Chinese firms control much of the large business and trade, and the population of the island is over half Chinese. Indians account for a large segment. The rest of the population is made up of Malays, who work mainly as farmers, cultivating vegetable gardens, fishing, or tending tiny rice paddies. This is Sago Lane, one of the market streets in the Chinese sector. The merchants of Sago Lane live and trade in the timered fashion of the small Chinese businessman selling just enough fish each day to make sufficient profit to live and just enough vegetables to buy rice. Fish, vegetables, and rice form the diet of the Chinese. Even the fruit market is international. These oranges come from California. <laughs> 